Baltimore is a great city for art museums and art galleries. And with so many art districts, you're bound to find a fun crawl any time during the weekends here. We go in deep with Associate Curator of the American Visionary Art Museum, Gage Brandt, and learn a bit more about the Inner Harbor and how visionaries play a role in the history of Baltimore. All this next on Artification. Oh say does that star-spangled banner yet wave for the land of the free and the home of the brave. These are the words of visionary Francis Scott Key as he was watching the explosions over Baltimore Harbor back in the War of 1812. So many years later, Baltimore is still engulfed in a passion of creation, mostly of its own doing. The Inner Harbor is a special place because so many people come here and walk around it and enjoy the large investment that's been made in its beautification. Of all this reinvestment, one of the jewels in the crown of the Inner Harbor is the American Visionary Art Museum. Located in the Signal Hill Montgomery section of the Inner Harbor, Signal Hill can be viewed from anywhere inside the harbor. It's a large earthen mass that at one time relayed signals from the top of its hill down to the businesses that were anticipating incoming ships from the ocean. We're joined now by Gage Branda, an associate curator and programmer here at the museum. My name is Gage Branda. We're at the American Visionary Art Museum. Uh, the development department at a museum is fundraising, so I'm, I help the principal fundraiser, which is also the principal curator. That's my development role. I do a lot of grant writing and grant reporting, um, reaching out to potential funders for shows. And then on the curatorial end, I'm essentially a curatorial assistant, so I help our curator basically work out her ideas and articulate them and offer advice. And then I also come in during the install and actually physically install artworks. We're a museum that is visitor focused. We are an education center. We focus ourselves on our seven educational goals, which fundamentally are about intuition. Like how can we inspire others to be intuitive? And that is in line with our visionary artists, quote unquote, untaught artists. Uh, self-taught artists, people who basically needed to make so badly that despite not really having any education in it, we're like, I'm gonna make something and I, I know what I'm gonna make. And it's, it's incredible. There's a Patty Kuzbita bed frame in the permanent collection. It's got the kid from Mad Magazine made out of like bottle caps or um, beads. But her story's great is because, because she used to work here. And you know, everyone, at the AVAM as an artist, like all of our security, our VSAs, everyone I work with, they're all artists. And they love art so much they came to a temple for it. I think that that kind of echoes the ethos of the museum and is important to me because so much humanity and like relationship building is apparent with how this museum operates. Oh, I love this city, man. Um, I came here to go to school, and I picture my future here. You know, there's, uh, I don't like the potholes, but um, <laughs> that's no one's fault, but you know, so. I mean, I focus all of my fundraising efforts on getting money into our education center. So we do after school programming, and we get, let Title I students come in for free, and we have them have a good time. So the, the museum offers like really great art workshops inspired by visionaries. So it's kind of like this amazing interplay between students who haven't studied art and you know amazing artists who haven't studied art. And you get to do workshops with them and bring that to young kids, mostly in Baltimore. I mean, most of it's for free. Um, Title I students, SNAP and EBT students get free entry in workshops. Uh, yeah, we do. We do great stuff. I mean, kids really like scream and yell and they, they love it here. And uh, for my time doing like working with young kids in Baltimore, like this is the type of stuff that gets them excited about art. 
one of my last questions. 